on Five News. Who pays for our social care? Ministers look. after the summer break. It's looking tough for him, isn't it? Yes, Charles, I'm sure the Prime Minister... Well, Boris Johnson was under further pressure from MPs this afternoon, this time over the UK's response to Afghanistan. While the PM said Britain should be proud of the part it played in rescuing some of those trapped when the Taliban took over, Labour said many more were left behind because political leadership was missing in action. Here's Julian Drucker. Here, it's a new school year for millions more pupils in England and Wales. Most COVID measures have been dropped, no bubbles, no mandatory masks, and no need for so many children to stay home if a classmate tests positive. The big concern for some is that the new year is starting at a time when cases are particularly high. So let's just compare. Now, when schools reopened this time last year, there were an average of around 3,000 cases a day in the UK. Today, there are an average of nearly 38 thousand cases a day. That's more than 10 times higher. So is that number likely to rise? And if so, by how much? Well, in Scotland, most schools went back a few weeks ago. Cases there, experts point out, the rise began before schools reopened and that other factors are in play. So it's a complicated situation, still a concerning one. How then are schools hoping to manage in the days and weeks to come? Simon Vigar has been to Cumberland Community School in East London. Coming up on Five News, relief. See you after the break. Welcome back. When it comes to tackling climate change, some of the solutions are obvious and well-known. Others, though, perhaps less expected. The countryside charity, CPRE, wants the government to boost hedgerows across Britain. They say it'll bring great benefits to nature, the economy and the climate. So for the latest in our series, a miraculous story from Australia, where a toddler has been found safe after being lost in woodland for four days. Anthony Elphalak had been subject to a major search operation involving hundreds of friends, family and emergency service personnel. Leila Hayes has the dramatic pictures. Finally, Great Britain's Paralympians will arrive home any minute after their exceptional performance in Tokyo. They finished second in the table with 124 medals and a gold, silver or bronze in more sports than ever before. It's hoped they'll have inspired scores of people to give sport a go and who knows, maybe become a Paralympian themselves. Catherine Nash heard from a group of wheelchair tennis players in Hertfordshire. And that's it for now. Claire Nazir has the weather for you next and I'll see you again tomorrow at five. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.